if there is no solution for the debt crisis in the euro area and accompanied with the slow economic growth that has uh, ex been experienced in the world over currently, uh, it would have uh, a major effect on the African economies. For example, as it is now, it has caused a lot of panic of in foreign investors and they have tried to move away from the euro-denominated assets to the US dollar-denominated assets. That's a uh, flight to safety. And this has resulted in three major problems in African economies. First, we have seen a uh, weakening and volatility of the currencies in African economies. We have seen low activities in the stock markets with the stock prices dwindling. And we have seen decreased demand for our exports and uh, decreased a decline in capital inflows in terms of export earnings and tourism and foreign direct investments. When currency volatility is uh, associated with rapid depreciation of currency, it has both positive and negative outcomes. Uh, for instance, in terms of the positive, I would start with the positive outcomes. Uh, we would have uh, increased um, exports of our, car of our goods in the international market, so that if there is demand in the international market, then it would lead to inflows of capital in our economies and remittances. However, there are negative impacts. Like, for example, it, will, it leads to inflated level of uh, foreign denominated debt for our countries. Kenya, for instance, has moved from a level of debt of 40% to way above 50% as a ratio of GDP, as a result of currency depreciation. Further, it makes the imports very expensive for our country. And when imports become expensive, they go to increase the domestic prices, which fuels inflation. Again, it makes when the imports are expensive, the current account balance widens, and this exerts pressure on the exchange rate that is already depreciating. So as a whole, um, in terms of positives and negatives, we see currency volatility as more negative impact than positive. African leaders have taken on uh, various policy measures to keep their currency, to stem the currency volatility. For example, the resource-rich countries that have stocks of foreign reserves have intervened in the market by selling the dollar in cases where the demand of the dollar exe had exceeded supply. For the resource-poor countries that have uh, low stocks of foreign reserves, they have resulted in tightening of monetary policy in the, so that they could combat the inflationary pressures and constrain demand. For others, they have gone to regulate, revise their regulations to stop uh, forex speculation trading, and others have also instituted capital controls. But in general, there is a, a more concerted effort by the policymakers at the central banks and the government to work together and uh, deal with the currency problems.